Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I hope you had a good day. I'm Burn2K and I'm here to show you some Magic Arena gameplay. And in today's video, we roll with a Burn Original deck. I got a new deck. That's a deck that I've, I've played a lot with, but I've made some updates following the release of the Crimson Vow set. So today we're playing Kaya, the Inexorable, so the whole Kaya one. We're playing a Legendary deck. So we will have a lot of fun with a lot of legendary creature, but a big update to the deck is Welcoming Vampire. I feel this card is pretty strong. The new card, I really like it. As you know, I'm still a free to play player, but with the beginning of the new Mastery Pass, I get some wild cards, opening some packs, and I've crafted four Welcoming Angel, uh, Welcoming Vampire. I feel that card is pretty strong. So uh, for one one white and two colorless, you get a two three flying vampire. And whenever another creature with power two or less come onto the battlefield under your control, you draw a card. This ability triggers only once per turn, but we'll make this work. We have a lot of little creatures in our deck. We have little spider queen that generates two spiders that have two power. So that help us draw some card and um, let's hope we can uh, grind the ladder with that deck i really liked it and i'll show you that right now so here is the deck as you can see we have four copies of welcoming vampire so to get our things rolling we have some low spell low manica spell we have three blood chief thirst or removal for early removal or even for the late game removal with the kicker cuss we can remove some plane walkers or big creature that came on the battlefield and gave us some trouble to ramp up we have shambling gas one one creature it's a great blocker for us it can give us a treasure so it helps us with our mana because we're a three color deck and that might be a little a little tricky sometimes or we can we can have target creature get minus one, minus one to kill something. On the two mana slot, we have Professor of Symbology. So we can learn some environmental sciences or some removal like Necrotic Fumes. Or the green card, I never remember, Containment Breach. And we have two mascot exhibition to close this. We have a Valky God of Lies. Um, in the beginning of the game, sometimes we go looking in the end of our opponent to take some creature from them. Especially against Mono White, we really like to get the, the taxing creatures, like uh, the, the flying one. Forgot the name. Elite Spellbinder. Really like to get the Elite Spellbinder with Valky, so we don't get it in our way. But later in the game, we can play Table Cosmic Imposter. Uh, we don't have any red mana in our mana pool, of course. But we have some treasure with Shambling Gas. And we have uh, Alcyon Karatid. <laughs> Clearly a name I will never be able to tell. But it can give us some red mana to cast Tebald in the late game. Also, it helped us ramp up in the beginning and get our color because it gave us one mana of the of any color. We also have the Prosperous Innkeeper. You all know it, but it gave us some treasure, so we get another red potentially for a Tebelt in the late game, and it gave us some gain life. We have Deadly Brew. Deadly Brew let us sacrifice a little creature we got to potentially bring back a big plane walker that's on our graveyard. So our opponent sacrifice a creature, we sacrifice one, but if we sacrifice a creature, we can bring back a creature or plane walker. Oh, that's a permanent. We can return a permanent from our graveyard to our hand. So that's a way to get back some plane walker that could die in the beginning of our match. We also have two copies of Meat Hook Massacre. Once first thing it's a Cool board wipe to help us, but we have a lot of little creatures, so we need to uh, be um, we need to be sure we want to play this before playing it. But we will also play a lot with the 
Whenever a creature you control die, your opponent lose one life. Because we have a lot of little creature, and we have Kaya that can give us a token, a counter on our creature, and when our creature dies, it gets back to our hand, and we create a spirit creature. So a lot of games against aggro deck, we're just staying in defense and let our token die, dealing damage to our opponent. That's pretty tough for us to have a big, a big strike on our opponent, and we're able to uh, defend a lot of uh, creatures. Trample is our worst enemy here. <laughs> In the three mana slot, we have the four copies of the Welcoming Vampires. So all, all the creatures we've seen, none of them has more than two power. So every time we cast a creature after Welcoming Vampire is on the battlefield, we draw a card for it, at least the first one on the turn. And if we can get two Welcoming Vampire at the same time on the battlefield, that is pretty crazy for us. On the 4 mana slot, we have one copy of Yasharn and Placable Hurt. So it's a 4-4 creature when it came into the battlefield. We can search our library for a basic forest and a basic plane. And we put it into our hand. So that helps us a lot with the mana that we need to have on the battlefield because we have some big spell to cast and sometimes the third color is a problem to get. Also, we need to keep in mind that player can pay life or sacrifice non-land permanent to cast spell or activate abilities. So when Yasharn is on the battlefield, no treasure token works. They're stale, you can do anything with that. Sometimes that's a problem for us, but sometimes that, that's a problem for our opponent too. And it's a legendary creature, so as you, you will see, the other creature will see from the rest of the deck, it's all creature, all legendary spells. So we have Yasharn, after that we have three copies of Kayade Nixarable. So one of our main goals in this deck is to get to the emblem of Kaya, so at the beginning of, your, of our upkeep, we can cast a legendary creature from our hand, or take, it, take one from our graveyard and put it into the battlefield. So with that emblem, we can get the Yasharn, we can get our grid lantern, so we can bring that back as the artifact. We cannot bring that back as the creature. Maybe no, we, we bring it back as the creature and not as the artifact, but we can get it back at our at our upkeep. We also have Lult Spider Queen. We have two copies of that, so it's another legendary that we can bring back if it's dead with the Kaya, or with the Deadly Brew that we've seen in the beginning. Also, when we create the two fighters, we are drawing card from the Welcoming Vampire. We're gaining life from Prosperous and Keeper. And when one of our creatures dies, they get, some, they get a loyalty counter. So the main thing of our goal of our deck is to get a lot of little creatures that block, maybe have some uh, the counter from Kaya on them so they can get back on the battlefield, and boost Lult. After that we have two, copy, two, copy, two copies of Varenklex Monstrous Rider, so it's just a big powerhouse, <laughs> just a big creature, no one see that coming. 6-6 six, six, Trample Ace is always pretty tough, and if we have Varenklex on the battlefield, and we cast one of our Planewalkers, they get double the counter they need, so if our clicks already on the battlefield, Kaya come into the battlefield with 10 loyalties and 8 for Lult, so they can ultimate straight up. That can be really cool for us. And we end that with 3 copies of Blood on the Snow, so if we lose control of the game, we can wipe the board, bring back some big Planewalkers, bring back Varenklex straight into the battlefield, and uh, that's it. Wipe the game. All right, let's go on the first battle. Let's see if the addition of the meat hook will help us. Go through those, uh, those aggro deck. I like that hand. See what they are playing, bad moon, some white dragon sleeve. Your hand or not? Sure about that. 
are not sure. Okay, keep it. Let's show them some green. Oh, blue. A blue deck. I don't like it. Go for Prosperous and Keeper. Just hope to be able to play Welcoming Vampire on the next turn. No field tap. Great. We foretell something. So they don't. Good. Mm, let's play this. See if they want to do something about that. Professor of Symbology. No, they don't. Perfect. Get environmental sciences. Some mana going. Attack. On the next turn, we'll be able to cast Gaia or Welcoming Vampire and Valky. Here it's going. Thinking. Do I play my Fading Hope right now or not? Only one damage. Let's. Let go through. <laughs> Let that go through. Anna, can you just foretell something? No, you don't. Oh. So... I think we'll try to play Kaya right now. We'll force them to play counter spell. Try to get our welcome vampire after that. We need more Kaya. We won't have a lot of creatures, so we need to be able to strike as fast as possible so creatures are better. Let's play Kaya. Saw that coming. I saw that coming too. Can we rush them enough? Oh, there's some red. Finally, they foretell something, but they clearly have another counter spell waiting. Or maybe that's just an like cunning. Oh, they double foretell? That's our time. For cunning vampire. Go see their hand. They probably don't have a lot. But a card. Anyone like draw a card, then learn something. What do we learn here? Uh, we still have our sciences in hand. It can help us. We'll, we need to rush them. Attack. Just so they don't get a crush the weak. Something like that. We're looking at our vampire. Back to our hand. Okay. At least it's not dead. Four mana. What are they planning? Killing a creature, create a token, creature token. They're at one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, six. Side two. So we can play Yasharn. If we do that, we can play Welcoming Vampire. But with that on the field, they can use their, their treasures. Let's see if they let go through. Let this go through. Yes, they are. Wait. All our hopes are fading. Already have played a land, so let's continue to rush them. Two in another life, but you have in hand. Turn the house. <laughs> Perfect. So that can take deal five damage to each creature and plain water. Another class. 
Vortex. Tá for us. Do they have some counter spell or are they waiting with the extra turns? That spells them. Oh, don't seem to have any counter spell. We put the pressure on. They're probably burning down the house. We have two mana left. So let's play this first. We don't counter anything. We can't. Will they go for it? One, two, three, four, five, six. They can. Play one. Not sure. Their hand is full of mana, but they don't know that. So, first things first, let's attack. You think about that? Let that go. Hmm. Let's play this for zero. If they kill some of our creature, at least at least they will lose some life. And if not, we can win the game on the next turn just by attacking. What do we play now? Swamp. Into life. Oh my god, we had an end full of lands. We need some creature. Did they get that game back. Did they escape any. Have another one. Just a iteration. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe they thought that with six they could cast another one, but I have, I have Yasharn. The battlefield blocking them. Oh, uh, they have. Just took one other mana. They're good. They are good. Let's do. Take another turn. Can take four more. Like this. They gave us the game. Or do they have another one? They probably have another one in hand. Let's go. We can take six more. VIP to a deck another meat hook massacre. Oh, turn down the house. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. You can take it. Don't think carefully. Keep four mana. Let's see what we got. What do we got? Another land! Everything is fine here. Are you counting now? You can deal us five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus, there's 7-7, seven, seven, so we die. In this situation, we can not attack. Oh my god, did they turn down that game? Did we just draw blood on the snow? Or another meat hook massacre? Is anything but another land? Thinking about it. Their creature dies, they lose some life. A 7-7 seven, seven won't die. We don't have a lot of mana open after that.
funny. If this creature die, you can deal one damage to any target. Maybe they have another uh, spike field cave or spike field hazard. Like that way, they lose two life. Game two. Next turn will be the real turn. Hey, they don't have lose any life. understand that. Let's attack all the way. Let's see what they're doing with this. We have in our graveyard to bring back. Uh, yeah. Oh no, they don't lose life because my creature didn't die. So I'm at 8. I need to bring back a creature on the battlefield to block their 7-7. Seven, seven. So maybe the smart play would be to bring back the Professor of Symbology. Get some creature back. Oop. Professor is already dead. Oh, we've, uh, we've gained a lot of life. That's good, that's good. Let's take Mascot Exhibition. At 5 mana, we can cast it now. We're at 1 life. Discard card to draw. Do you need to find the, the right answer? Kill me now. Please kill me now. Please, but they need to. They need to kill me now. To be able. Oh, what are they doing with this? Getting a lot of little creatures. Six, eight damage. They wipe our board. I think we're good now, if they attack, they will lose some life, for sure. Can they kill us before we kill them? They're attacking with six creatures and I don't block anything, I take six, I'm not dead. If I block one, I'll take six anyway, but one of their creatures will die. If they attack, I just have to block them. Can bounce the meat hook, oh, but if they bounce it, I'll cast it on the next turn. Well, I guess we have a counter spell. Counter spell back the meat hook. Black as those you get the third one. I'm not sure how the triggers works. If the meat hook and sector come into the battlefield, which damage and gain life will come first? Do I die? They die. This one. Let's see if we can do something better than that. Draw a card. What do we want? So let's go for it. Play a hook for one. Oh. Oh. Wasn't 
I wait to make some mistake. Let's just attack their dead. Woof! I just don't want to know if I was going to die or not. <laughs> Who's gonna be our next victim? <laughs> Let's just hope I win that game. Thing is clear. PGP. Have an okay hand, I guess. Let's hope we get our white mana quickly, or that they don't kill this one. We're black. We're a black mage. <clears throat> We're playing blue. If they kill it, we still have the shambling gas that can give us a treasure. For you, welcoming vampire. Considering this, okay, there's Simic. You drop a forest. We got another one. Oh, you don't play anything. So we only have one land, so that will be a tap land. Let's play the shambling gas first. Thinking about it. Well, attack. Great. Look at the top two card of your library. Put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest back on top of your library in any order. Then draw a card. What are they looking at? What do they need? Oh my god. I guess. Probably won't go on the battlefield. Yeah. Perfect. Let's attack now. Will the next one come on the battlefield? I don't know. Will they bounce it back? It's great. They are still looking for something in their deck. Look at that. What is that deck? I hope they have a great combo. Okay. We're going, coming for another land. We can handle that. That's a two. You will sacrifice a creature. I sack the shambling gas. Oh, I've miscalculated it. Anyway. Sack the gas. Take the treasure. Oh, I played it really poorly. That's not what I was hoping to do. Anyway. Welcoming Vampire, we draw a card. And we already, already have played a land, so let's attack. We're in a good spot. We're waiting for their creatures. They will die. We can still attack. We're considering something else. God, will they play something? One, two, three, four, five. Six. You have a big creature. Freak a moment. Okay. Attack them with our flyers. Not black. Probably will sack their dryad end of the turn. Get some more land. Really hope your big creature is crazy strong. Because I'm gonna kill it. Right after. One, two, three, four, five. My god. Will he do something? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Seven, nine, nine. I even have a hate one. We might have some counter spell though. Let's try to force them to do something. We'll attack. Run something back and tap all your mana. Continue the beat down. Yeah, I could only play the Valky side, trying two cards and see what's in their hand. I right, just wait. I'll just wait. I'm fine here. Don't get countered. And if they cast their big spell, because at some point they will have a big spell, I hope. I hope for them, with all the mana they got. You can counter with the Valky. Welcoming Vampire are doing the job. Oh, that's what we were waiting for. And be countered. Return target spell you don't control to its honor hand, or return target permanent you don't control to its honor hand. So yeah, snakes can veil. That's pretty sad. But now all their lands are tapped. No, except for two. Can we play that back? Guess we try the big spell. Let's try this one. You let that go. Oh, well, by doing that, I tap my blocker. What are they doing? Cast a spell, choose one, return target spell you don't control to its owner's hand. Oh my god. It's better than what I thought. They have the same effect as a divide by zero. Bounce everything back. Need to kill that thing quickly. I have all the mana I need to play Blood Chief Thurs twice. The plan. That is the plan. We can bounce it back. Let's just hope we can kill it. We're going for the snakeskin veil. Bring a creature to our hand. So we still have three mana left. Cut. Draw card. Let's see if we can have a, a blocker on that one. Or will they bounce back our bolt our creatures? We don't have played land that turn. Let's hope they don't have another sneak scan veil. Snake scan veil. Oh, I was pretty sure I was going to win that game, but now, not that easy. Oh, they bounce back one, they kill the other one. That's pretty bad. We're going down. Bang, bang. And we kill it now. have eight mana. Just not enough. Protect it another time. Just bounce it back to your hand. Take a moment. You bounce to our hand. They're drawing two cards. Try it again. Oh, I don't have four mana. Uh, I need one more black. Oops. 
Uh oh. Too bad. Back with death. Haven't been fast enough for the full breacher. Full breaker horror. That's why they have all those little spells and dump everything back. Oh my god! I see that one coming. This point. Sadly, we are dead. I've been surprised by that one. We have not been fast enough, so we'll have the second match. Let's go for the third game. We win that one. Can we win that one? Black Cloud. All of this game, our mana has been really weird. Not enough black mana. Keep it. What are we up against now? Show them white and green. Is this mono white? We're playing mono white. Oh, we got a black mana. So let's, let's go straight to their hands. See what's coming at us. Oh, they're playing the book and the faceless haven. Not good. Intrepid hero or hollow priest. Don't change anything. Maybe the intrepid hero will be a little bit harder to cast for them. But anyway, you have the you have the portable hole. So bulky bulky is probably gone pretty quick. Do you have another mana? No? Oh yes they drew it. He drew it. Portable hole. That's good. Hello, you. Now let's keep this. We kill that thing. No. Is there a life, life gainer, though? This even is a big problem for us. Complete. Do this. So, I will be good to catch the book with the Kaya when they cast it because they, they need six white. So we should be good. With this, we need another black. Need another black source. Black mana. Here we go. Already played it. If I kill that tree tree, or do I wait for the intrepid hero? Oh no. I think I'm gonna kill this right now. Force them to play some other cards. Because with their 1 1s, they're not really a big threat for us. They're at three. They're playing the book. That's just perfect, my lord. I'm coming at you with Kaya, and I will remove that crazy artifact from the gate. If the job is wrong, I change the terms. That was I want to see job. that. No more. I want to see that. No more. No more. Gaining life. Not a real problem. The attack would be smart on their part. Want to keep it? I really like that. The Kaya will protect the Professor of Symbology now, and we can be we'll play a lot with two blockers. We're not in a good spot now. 
Lux really like those tokens. I'll take that. Don't worry, I got you. Worry, I got gotcha. Darkness will swallow. Lot and Kai are pretty crazy together. Subservience will be rewarded. No attack. If they attack us, each creature will block. If they die, if we have three creatures dying, get plus three counter on Lot. Plus we get a 1-1 one -one spirit coming back on the battlefield. And we get our creature back. So we can play the spider from Lot another time. And we have one more blocker that time. Let's keep this going for as long as we can. Rip his adversary. Blue ship. One. Yes. But oh, we don't attack. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where do we play now? We got another Valky. Or do we play the Sigrid as a creature? The Lantern. There's a Lantern. Don't have anything in their hands. We will need to sacrifice some creature at some point. Let's just begin with that. Some pressure on them. What are you doing now? This. Let's check. Second counter. Ghosting Good thing to know is that the counter of uh, of Kaya are hackable. The more you put it on, the more you'll get you know, on one spirit. Run, but we will catch you. <laughs> and we get another blocker. Not in a good spot. And we got the treasure to play Valky on the next turn. We'll probably give up after that. Righteous Valkyrie. We won't have any Trampler, so we're good. I'll attack. Block one, we block two, we block three, we block four. Lot will be happy. Gaia will give us some spirit creature. My power is for annihilation. So, what are they doing with this one? Probably losing three life since they have a lot. When call time burns, I might I lit the flame. exile. That creature. How badly will you miss that? Create two fighters. I will call the weak. Oh, I cannot cast that deck, so I need to remove maybe a, a permanent. Well, now the only have four attacker. Go. Still good. Oh, and I will be able to play that since I remove it with. Uh oh. Shoot! Let me get rid of that. I have seven mana, so I could target myself with that. Back, I uh, bring back. That's awesome. So let's see what we can draw from the top of the library. Library. Surely you can handle a little pain. Draw something else. I always oh. reward the loyal. So let's force a player to sacrifice permanent. Will be me. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Sacrifice an online permanent. One. Yes, everyone sacrifice a creature. I'll sack one one flyer, I guess. The 
It's a pretty cool play we're doing here. <laughs> we get back Kaya to our hand. We play Kaya back. And we remove the Book of Exalted D. And they gave up! <laughs> that was pretty sick. Pretty sick. Wow. What a maneuver to get around the Book of Exalted Deeds. Match number four. Who are we facing now? Design design. Let's see, our mana is cool since uh, we don't have any white spell, but we don't have any white source. We'll be faster than that, but see what we're gonna pick up. Oh, don't like that. I really don't like that. There we are. Okay. Surprised by their, cho by their choice. Maybe they have some other uh, discard card. Uh, Really feet in their hands. Look at the deadly brew over blood on the snow. And over Tigrid. Over the lantern. So that's the strange choice. You attack, we won't block. We want those mana. Anything to play with your one blue? So I'm gonna go. Ah, oh, they're fading out. Okay. So we will get back. We're back on the board. But now they might stay there for the counter spell. Oh, we're at four. Let's just remove that token. We can attack safely. Probably let this go. Pretty clear they're working with our counter spell. But if they have nothing on the board, we can attack. Ah, uh, Siphon and Sight. I don't like that. I don't even know what they're taking from my deck. Hate it. Hate that card. First Symbology. Do they have any land spells? Yep, they have. We've already learned. So they have three mana left. Try this. Probably will counter it. Side by zero. Okay. Don't have the counter. Kill this. We can add that. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six mana already. Looking for their seven. Oh, they have the mascot exhibition ready for the next turn, maybe? Would be happy to see that coming. So now... Play this. We'll probably let it go. Yep. The sign says... We let this go. Need a white source. At least one. Going for the siphon and sight. Taking one of our cards. But we will have our white source. Get that right now and let's attack for one. Oh, they're still at 20 life. Then if we're striking every turn. Be good to see that they've took a forest from us. Going at it again. 
Just hope they won't find the blood on the snow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's attack first. My god. <laughs> Taking my deck? What? That's pretty sad because now we should have cast bigger spell. It would be pretty sick to have Tebalt on the battlefield, but we can and not. Let's go for the lantern. See how they take it. Got a land. Alright. Let's see on the next turn. Master exhibition. I don't like that. Have a lot of good creature. Sacrifice token, discard a card, just lose three life, discard a field of rune, go with me, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try Valky, the Tibalt. They don't have any counter spell, so now they could take five damage to Valky, so let's boost. Two. Oh, that's sweet. Memories. We don't attack, we'll need it to block. And we keep this on the battlefield. So we have, we have uh, Blood on the Snow ready for the next turn. That will, that will be awesome. Oh. <laughs> Dividing by zero. That's a strange play, I think. I guess they want... Oh, they oh yes, I they've killed it. Right, to then draw a card. Let's just hope they don't have a counter spell. We're at... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... What are you doing now? Two, three, four. Let's see if they have a counter spell. Oh no, it go through right away, so that's perfect. Right, all creature. Oh no, we only pay for five. Oh. And get Valky back. Oops. Let's play it another way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's go with Kaya. Ghosting feels weird, right? What the heck? We can bounce one of their token to their hands. All blood on the snow, don't take back Valky. Oh, but anyway, we'll come back as Valky and not as Sybil. Here. I don't like that. Really don't like that. We have the rest. Can do anything about that. We have still three mana left. We might divide by zero Archaia. This one. Keep this. I will keep this. Let's block with that. I 
have a spirit and a minus one, minus one on that card. And we get Kaya until our turn begins. That would be great. We'll be able to remove clear from the game. That's perfect. I bet. Okay, out of fading out, I guess. That's good. So let's force them to lose three life or discard their, their island. We have seven mana now. I guess we play Lult while we can. Some blockers. A, gift in exchange a lot of blockers. Oh, I really missed that play. I could have played a Welcoming Angel. Attack. Let's see what they got. Probably going back with Lear. Hello, Lear. Don't like you. Oh. But what can you do? What can you do? Do anything? Do you have any other bounce spell? Yes, you have some divide by zero. So first things first. Some pressure on them. Let's go with me. Draw card. <laughs> My hatred lives. Play the welcoming vampire. And draw a card. Didn't want to draw that. Put a counter on the welcoming vampire. Need to protect it. about it. Getting out. It's fine with me. Let's attack with the menace creatures. The flyer. Them have a turn. We're dividing by zero, Kaya. That seems pretty good to me. Let's just fight back with that. Put some pressure on them. Oh, they want to go the rest bit after that. Maybe they have the rest. There I am. Hope not. Okay, we're waiting for you, my lord. You're at six. On the next turn, we can hit for four with that. Need to play something big because we can kill. Oh, that's the big thing I was talking about. Be 
some treasure. How many counter do we have on Lulz with death? Subservience and I I will get to my will and I the gentleman. Not enough. Dividing it by zero? Okay. What do you have left in your graveyard? Not that much. Get rid of here on the next turn. And draw, my lord, but you get only one mana left. That's the opening we were waiting for. what they're doing with this. Only I have one mana left, so we can go with this. Safely. When you can walk through walls? Maybe not. They could bounce it. Are you fine? Nope. It's gone. It's the least Good user. thing. And we can play Lulz right back. Go for this. We'll play. Thanks for the treasure. You and we get some black. We We're back at 12, but I'm pretty sure we can go for it. Oh, what are you destroying? You win this round, but I'll be wasting. Another Leer. They play back, no, not play that another time, but they will try to remove Shirley or Kai on the next turn. All tap, that's pretty good for us. Pretty good. Play that land. So, what do you do about that? Back. Taking it. Play this for four. We don't have any black thing anyway after that. One, two, three, four, five. Hook for four. Rid of the leer once again. We're losing life left. The hook doesn't do anything. But it will come in vampire and protect it. On the next turn we can play the prosperous and keeper to draw a card and help us try to win this game. Edge more witch. It never will come on the battlefield. Oh, they can kill Kaya. Or we can block. No, they're menace. What of the creatures are menace creatures? But, after that, we strike two sign with flying. We force them to stack their creatures. Ooh. Aren't we lucky, no? The player lose three life, or they discard a card. Sacrifice a permanent. Not sure. Fine with me. First, let's untap the grid. Won't find this pretty funny, my lord. Divide this by zero. Fair enough. Take it back. 
with this five mana that we just cast it as a creature. Do they like that? Let's attack. They're at two. And they draw the big spell that will give us the game, gave them the game. Oh, that's a big one. You'll need to uh, gain two life though. Can I take me, my lord? We're winning this one with the Wilcoming Vampire. Great job. So, 3 1, I think. Here we are for the post wrap battle. Oh, <laughs> the. Anyway, the post battle wrap up. <laughs> Sorry for that. We we'll end our streak with a 3 1. Three victory, one defeat. We've seen a lot of cool plays. I think the maybe the best plays we have had was the the time with Sakaya to bring it back with Deadly Brew and get rid of the, the book, the white book that forced our opponent to give up this game as he thought had us on the corner, but we get it back. Um, I really like that deck. Maybe I should find a way to draw a little bit more, but always uh, hard to have the fine balance between power and drawing cards. I need to be a little bit quicker, I think. Some card I have seen that I might be playing with are uh, Thorin, Fist of the Angel, the two, two legendary creatures, so that's in theme with Kaya. And whenever we cast a creature spell, we create a 1-1 creature token. So. If we cast a creature, that will trigger the Welcoming Vampire, but uh, we need to cast a creature, so Lult won't trigger Torrent, so I don't really know if we can play it. Also, we have Edgar Charm Groom. It's just a really powerful card for 4 mana. It's a 4-4 four, four creature. Other Vampire Control get plus 1, plus 1. The only Vampire we have is Welcoming Vampire. But if Edgar dies, we create... An artifact that creates some 1-1 one, one flying, 1-1 one, one lifelink empire. And once we got 3 counter on the Edgar's Markov Coffin, it get back to the 4-4 four, four creature. So that's pretty much a, a creature that never dies. I really like it. I've tried it a couple times, but I've not been able to win games with that. And another version I've got earlier was with two copies of Professor Onyx instead of the Lult. But I really think the Lult help us much more with Welcoming Vampire. So I think that Professor Onyx won't get back into this deck. I hope you really liked our video and our deck. It's a brand new deck made by me. So if you like it, give us a thumbs up, a like, leave a comment. Tell us what you would do to get this deck even better. Maybe there are some other new cards I've, I've not seen that can uh, help us be stronger. I hope to get this back, get this deck back on the channel with a new version, with a new version that will hit harder our opponent. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you had a good day and see you in the next video.